This clip shows the final emptying of a non-caloric viscous meal. The regions of the gastric body, the antrum, the pyloric sphincter and the duodenum are indicated. With a viscous meal, the antral waves are not lumen occluding. Thus, propulsion is associated with backflow of chyme. When a peristaltic wave travels over the antrum, the subsequent peristaltic wave originates at the gastric body. It sweeps chyme from the body to the antrum. Simultaneously, chyme of the distal antrum flows backwards. It accumulates in the proximal antrum together with the chyme emptied from the gastric body. A tonic contraction of the reservoir supports the propulsion of the peristaltic wave of the gastric body. In this way, the gastric reservoir delivers chyme to the antral pump and the antral pump empties the gastric content into the duodenum after a short period of mixing. Again, the emptying of the reservoir and transfer of chyme into the duodenum. With viscous chyme, the contraction of the terminal antrum produces retropulsion, in contrast to liquids. In this experiment, the reservoir empties the chyme completely. However, the motility of the stomach usually decreases towards the end of gastric emptying, and residues of chyme remain in the stomach. They are usually delivered into the gut by the recurring housekeeper contractions of the migrating motor complex. Here the fed motor pattern of the stomach remains vigorous. Therefore the final emptying of a viscous meal can be clearly seen.